Well, guess what? It's another glue video. So I've used a lot of different things as glue. I've used Coke as glue. I've used different candies as glue. I've used Jolly Ranchers as glue. And I feel like there's something else I'm missing. I feel like I've tried to use something else as glue. But anyway, in today's video, we're gonna try to use oatmeal as glue. Anyone that eats oatmeal knows that when it, while you're eating oatmeal, say if you don't finish all of it and you just leave it in the bowl and then it sits there for a few hours, it dries super hard like concrete. And then you have to get like a knife and try to like basically chip it out of the bowl so that you can wash the bowl. So I feel like oatmeal could make a very good glue. So we're gonna put it through all of the standard tests. We got the wood blocks, we got the bricks, and then we have the two by fours. Just like all the other videos, the bricks and the two by fours, I'll glue them together, or I'll put oatmeal between them and push them together end to end, and then I'll put them on some cinder blocks and put weights in the middle until they break. And then for the blocks, I'll put the oatmeal in the middle, push these together, and then we'll hook the crane scale up and we'll pull them apart and see how much they hold. So let's make some oatmeal. Get one of these packets out. We need a bowl. And if you didn't see, this is the apples and cinnamon oatmeal, just because that's what I had. And I know that this stuff dries like concrete. So we'll put one packet in here. And then we need two thirds cup of water. I feel like this is kind of turning into a cooking show. All right, there's our two thirds cup of water. And now we just gotta put it in the microwave. And just like that, two minutes later, we have piping hot oatmeal. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I might have to do another batch. Now let's start putting this on our blocks. All right, now that I have the oatmeal on everything, I have it, I have it on everything, I just said that. Wood blocks and the two by fours obviously are going to be clamped. And then the bricks, I just have them, you know, just sitting on top of each other because they're heavy, so they should be all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these dry for a full seven days and we'll come back and we'll put them through all the tests. All right guys, while we're waiting for that oatmeal to dry, I'm gonna give you a short product review. I'm going to be reviewing this pillow. As you can see, this is a wedge pillow. This pillow is advertised on Amazon as a soft memory foam pillow. So, I needed the pillow. I wanted a memory foam pillow. This came up, this is what I bought. This pillow is not a soft memory foam pillow. As you can tell, this pillow is hard. This is not something you want to sleep on. You would be better off sleeping on a stack of two by fours than you would be sleeping on this pillow. If someone broke into your house in the middle of the night, you could probably kill them with this pillow. And I'm gonna demonstrate that now. You see, this is not a pillow that you want to sleep on. I give this pillow zero out of 10, do not buy. All right, so it's been seven days since we put the oatmeal on our bricks and our wood blocks. So now the only thing left to do is to test them. So the first thing we're gonna be testing is these wood blocks, these one by one squares. Let's get the crane scale and the weights set up and start testing them. But before that, I want you to leave a comment down below. How much weight do you think these blocks are gonna hold? Now let's get started. All right, we have our blocks right here. Let's see how much they can hold. Pull this down. All right, now let's see how much they can hold. Ah, uh, not that much. Still pretty impressive though. 70 pounds. 
All right, now we're moving on to testing our two by fours. And if you've been around here, you know how this works. In case you don't frequent the channel, how this test works is I just take these two by fours, put them right here between these two center blocks. I'll put another two by four in the middle just to keep all the force on the center. And then we're just gonna add weights on top of it. So first we'll do five pounds. Ten pounds, twenty pounds, thirty pounds, forty pounds. 50 pounds. All right, so we'll take some of these off. We'll get 225s. We'll put these 225s on here, make 50. Oh, I think I heard a crack. Fifty-five. Yep. Fifty, fifty-five. That's when it broke. Well, sadly, there's not going to be the third experiment with the bricks because, as you can see, the bricks have fallen apart. So, they weren't going to hold much weight anyway because they were just sitting like this on the table and I just picked them up just to try to move them to another table and they just completely fell apart. So, even if I did get to test them, they probably would have only held like two, three, four pounds probably. So, Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So as far as our original question, can oatmeal be used as a glue? Kinda. It, it definitely did more than I expected. Lifting uh, 70 pounds with the little wood blocks and 50 to 55 pounds on the two by fours. That was definitely a lot more than I expected. <laughs> Somewhere I had higher hopes for it just because I know that whenever you eat it and you leave it in a bowl and it dries, it, it dries so hard. So I figured that it would, it would hold a little bit more, but I'm also not too surprised because it's oatmeal. It's, it's, it's not a glue. I had fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead, leave a comment down below what, what you want to see me test next, and I'll see you in the next one.